Hello everyone I hope you all are doing very well welcome to this edition of our sunday series species in news where we bring to you some of the species that have been in news lately we'll begin with today's discussion with our first species as great seahorse it is scientifically known as hippocampus kelogi and it has been in news because of extensive fishing off the coromandel coast that has been forcing the great seahorse to migrate laboriously towards orisha now the 1300 km northward migration of the great seahorse from park bay and the gulf of mannar all the way to orisha is likely a response of extensive fishing activities around the southern coast of india so first of all seahorses are poor swimmers but they can migrate by rafting so what it means is they can cling to floating substrata such as macro algae or plastic debris for dispersal by the ocean currents to new habitats for successful maintenance of their population now as you can see in the picture seahorses are a type of marine fish that are named for their distinctive head and neck which resembles those of horses if we talk about the geographical distribution of this species these are generally found in shallow tropical and temperate waters throughout the world and there are 46 species of sea horses reported worldwide moreover the coastal ecosystem of india houses 9 out of 12 species found in the Indo-Pacific and that is one of the hot spots of seahorse populations that are distributed across diverse ecosystems such as seagrass mangroves macro algal beds and coral reefs now these nine species are distributed along the coast of eight states and five union territories from Gujarat to Odisha and also a part of Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar islands now if we talk about its conservation status 12 seahorse species are listed as vulnerable by the international union for conservation of nature and that is one step down from endangered now an additional 17 species are under studied and listed as data deficient two are listed as endangered it is also listed under appendix 2 of sites now let us talk about the threats to great seahorse first of all they are declining due to the over exploitation for traditional chinese medicines and ornamental fish also it has seen habitat degradation by anthropogenic activities Now let us move on to our next species and that is Smemeusmia selonica. Now this is a moth species. So recently researchers from Tamil Nadu have spotted a rare moth species for the first time in India in buffer zone of Kalakkad Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve after it was last sighted 127 years ago at Trikonmali in Sri Lanka in the year 1893. Now Mimeusmia selonica is a moth species belonging to the subfamily Agaristinae and family Noctidae. It was first illustrated and described by English entomologist George Hampson in the year 18 93 Now the spotting of the moth species in the district has added to the testimony of rich biodiversity of the region. So as you can see in the picture this is the moth that has been recently discovered. Now let us move on to our next species and that is orangutans. So recently they have been in news as Police personnel in Chennai were suspected for aiding orangutan smugglers. So let us talk about the species a bit. Orangutans are great apes native to rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia and they are now found only in parts of the Borneo and Sumatra islands. Now in the Malay language the name orangutan means man of the forest. Orangutans spend most of their time in trees and it is also the most arboreal of the great apes. Talking about their characteristics now, they have proportionally long arms and short legs, and have reddish brown hair covering their bodies. Now, Bornean and Sumatran orangutans differ a little in appearance and behavior. While both have shaggy reddish fur, Sumatran orangutans have longer facial hair. Now, talking about the threats to these species, first of all, poaching for bush meat. and retaliation for consuming crops and also habitat destruction and deforestation are some of the threats to the species now talking about the declining population and the iucn status of the species first of all the bornean orangutan is now estimated at about 1,4700 based on updated geographic range and that is categorized as endangered also the sumatran are estimated about 7,500 which are categorized as critically endangered now there is Tapanuli orangutan it is a third species of orangutan that was announced in November 2017 with no more than 800 individuals in existence the tapanuli orangutan is the most endangered of all the great apes 
So this was about orangutans. Now let us move on to our next species and that is the great Indian bustard. So the great Indian bustard was recently seen in news, a draft notification issued by the Central Electricity Authority on the construction of electric lines in the habitat of the critically endangered great Indian bustard in Gujarat and Rajasthan has raised concerns because it could endanger the species. So let us talk about it a bit more. It is one of the heaviest flying birds endemic to the Indian subcontinent and all also it is the state bird of rajasthan it is scientifically known as ardeotis nigriceps and talking about its habitat it lives in untamed arid grasslands so a maximum number of great indian bustards were found in jaisalmer and the indian army controlled field firing range near pokhran in gujarat it is also found in some other areas like gujarat maharashtra and some of the areas in karnataka and andhra pradesh as well If we talk about its protection status it is listed as critically endangered under the IUCN and it is also listed in the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act some of the threats to the bird include hunting intensification of agriculture and power lines and also some of the initiatives regarding the project great indian bustard and second is the habitat improvement and conservation breeding now let us move on to our next species and that is jordan's narrow mouthed frog So recently the Jordan's narrow mouthed frog that is a montane species found in western ghats it has been rediscovered after 89 years by a group of zoologists so let us talk about the species a bit more it is scientifically known as Aparodon montanus and it is also known as Jordan's ramanella or mountain dot frog mountain globular frog or the malabar hill frog It is a species of narrow-mouthed frog that is from the family Microhylidae, endemic to the western ghats of India. The species is found in moist deciduous forests, semi-evergreen forests and evergreen forests. It is classified as near threatened in the International Union for Conservation of Nature red list that is the IUCN red list of threatened species. Now if we talk about western ghat, it is a chain of mountains running parallel to India's western coast, approximately 30 to 50 km inland. The ghat Ghats traverse the states of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Goa, Maharashtra and Gujarat and also the mountain is interrupted by 30 km Pal Ghat gap. It is a hot spot of biodiversity with high levels of endemism and evergreen forests. It is also known as the Great Escarpment of India and most importantly it is a UNESCO World Heritage site. And with this we conclude today's edition of Species in News. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then take care and do stay tuned. Yeah.